Good day, YouTube. If I'm not mistaken, it's like the 6th of January, 2021. And this, if you haven't seen, we just did a introduction video to the 1966 Ford F100. And we're going to start chipping away at things that this thing really needs to make it a driver. Okay? And one of the first things that's got to happen is wheels and tires. There's a, looks like a 14.5 uh, trailer tire on the left front. Sits significantly lower than, I don't know, what is that, 26, 25 inch tire. And then we got like 30, 31s or something on the rear. And then we got a, a traction radial on a stock wheel. That's pretty cool. In the bed of the truck somewhere is uh, the left front wheel with a really garbage tire on it. This guy on this side, um, tends to go flat on a every other daily basis. And then we got a really cool like a mud and snow on the right side. Remember these tires? Oh my goodness. That was the tire back in the day, I tell you. That's almost military tread looking, isn't it? Anyway, these aren't gonna cut it, but wanna go a couple different directions. One, I'd like to get all these tires dismounted off the stock wheels Get those uh, sandblasted and painted or uh, maybe powder coated. The powder coat guy I used is uh, not uh, not doing the powder coat business anymore, so I'm not sure where I'm headed. But I wanted to get these off and uh, get the wheels ready and then put tires on it that would be more of a stock size and height. And then find original hubcaps for them and uh, go that route with one set of tires. That would be one set. Um, in the short term, it'd be nice to put a set of tires and wheels on this that looked good, um, that don't go flat every other day, and would allow me to uh, take my time uh, getting these uh, ready. Because um, I only need one set, but I do need them now. So what do you think of these? So I get back with this truck last night, and I get right on the internet, and I'm hunting for you know nice wheels and tires um, in a five on five and a half inch bolt pattern. And uh, there were a few sets, and man, I started reaching out to these, and they were like gone in 60 seconds. People were scarfing these up like crazy. I found these. Um, it was about a 90-mile round trip for me to go get them, um, and the guy worked with me on a price, um, and I got these uh, wheels and tires for 160 bucks, which is great. They really look good. They're going to look nice on the truck. They're 15 by 8s, I believe. Um, two of these tires are usable, um, but there's not a lot of tread on them. But you know, I'm not. I just need to get it rolling and stuff for now. And again, I'm watching the budget. I turn them around and the raised white letter, which is the look I'm looking for. So I'm going to have these two tires turned around on these wheels, and I'm buying two. These are 255-70-15. So no, these are 255-60. 15. I've ordered, or I will order today, as soon as I know these fit, uh, 255 70 15 in the same tire, the Cooper Cobra. These two here are Kelly brand and they're clear through to the cords on the inside, so they are not usable. So I've cleaned them up a little bit, not perfect, but a little bit, um, so we can get the tires swapped around and so forth. So I'm going to get that thing jacked up while it's on the trailer because um, it's raining out for the moment, but maybe it'll quit in a minute. And uh, just test fit these on the vehicle and uh, make sure they fit before I spend another 400 bucks on a couple tires. Um, but that's what we're going to do today, and uh, we're going to make it look good. All right, check back with you a little bit. Raining outside, but I decided, hey, it's free water. Let's uh, wash the truck, both trucks. Anyway, in the rain, I got the uh, one of the wheels test fit. Oh my gosh, is that awesome or what? Great size. Remember, I'm going uh, 70 series in the rear. That's a 60. That'll be for the front. It fits and it looks great. Uh, 160 bucks for a set. Two tires are usable. They're not great. Um, anyway, I got to get two. So I'm also going to put the raised white letters out. So I'm going to run all four to the tire store. Um, they'll get me two tires in a couple days, and I'll put these two on the front um, that are runnable. 
once they get the white letters out turned out today all right in out of the rain all right i got the front tires back um, from the tire shop last night we're gonna put them on this morning and uh we'll wait a day or two for the rears to arrive unfortunately but you know it is what it is when you got to have a specific tire and they got to match the front ones um we're just going taller in the rear is all but let's get these put on well there we go guys we got the front ones on and they look great um this truck's kind of talking to me on the way through its uh, first couple of days um really looks like it needs to come down in the front end you know in that two three inches range and that'll be good yes they look great when they're slammed but i got other plans for this thing i, I need to be able to use it so um i don't want to get uh, crazy with it we're going for you know somewhere in the middle but those look fabulous man i wish the rear ones were here today but they are not so uh, i'll uh, finish up this video for you in a couple of days um in the meantime we got other videos working on on this truck and uh right starting today um we're gonna see about getting this thing running get it off the trailer that's gonna happen uh today so it might even post before the rear wheels and tires show up so we'll do that guys uh we'll catch you in a little bit well guys the uh tires and wheels are all on and it looks good pulled it out in the rain just sprinkling right now what do you think? It's got a good stand, isn't it? I think uh, we got to go down a couple inches in the front. And uh, I think that's what we're going to run with. So uh, 255, 60, 15s up front, 70s in the rear. As, uh, you know, the wheels are probably not as nice as they show up on the, on the video, but they really look good. Pretty happy with that. My lug nut showed up today too. I got a longer lug nut. Um, instead of a 13 16 socket, it takes a 3 quarter socket. Um, there wasn't really room enough to get an impact socket around a 13 16. So I made the, got the lug nuts long with a shoulder on them, and they're great. Just what I needed. So real happy with the results. I got this thing out. We're just running it, warming it up, really for the first time. Um, you know, until I get the uh, rocker arm stud nuts, I'm uh, not real interested in driving it yet. And uh, probably need to check on those, see when they're arriving. But yeah, yeah. We just cleaned the engine up, the engine bay up. Make it a little more easier to work on, a little more presentable, maybe. It is running, it's not running well. Carburetor's a, kind of a mess, I think. Um, so it's uh, definitely time for an upgrade. We're gonna put a new four barrel on it. Working a deal on an intake right now. Um, we just got all kinds of videos coming out because we're really making good progress on this thing. So it's nice to be uh, not working right now. I've been off since May, really, and it's uh, January. So, uh, yeah, it's really nice to have these fun projects. So, um, and this one's really coming together nicely. It's going to make really fun shop truck. Gang, I appreciate you watching, comment, and subscribe, and hit the thumbs up on the way out. We'll catch you guys on the next video.